What is up, everybody? This is Easy Street Gaming. Welcome back to the channel. Brutal Age. Live. Second look at Woody. Woody is the newest five star partner. If you're lucky enough to get Woody, then you have yourself a weapon. It is most likely going to be what stops the old number one partner, which would be Green Tricky. I believe that Red Woody has one upped Green Tricky. I'm not going to say that for a fact, but I have my suspicions that it's going to that's going to happen. We'll we'll know over the next couple of weeks. So let's just get right into it. We're going to talk mostly about the the Woodies. <laughs> Got a couple of replays. I, I'm going to have to just keep on saying Woody apparently because um, I've been doing this all day and I can't uh, avoid it. And you can see when they die, when they die, they go out in dramatic fashion. So this is against the Immortal Red team. This is a very very popular team right now. And it, it's basically it surrounds itself around the Nomad King, Red Nomad King. Uh, he's the high damage partner. What's going to happen is he's high damage, but they're building him with lower health. So the other they'll attack Nomad King over and over because he has the lowest health on the on the table on the board. And once he dies, then the little Red Ghost bring him back to life. And when he brings him back to life. He's gonna have a full no. He's gonna have uh, yeah, a full action bar and no health at all. So um, he'll Nomad King will immediately get to take a shot, and a lot of times he he blasts off with these twenty thousand damage shots. So this is a this has been an unbelievable team right now. If you are in ranked matches, you're probably looking at four or five of these per per ten ter, per ten bases that you see on your ranked match pa page. Right now we're going through ranked matches, the elite ranked matches. I believe I'll make a little prediction that we are going to see Woody in the top of ranked matches in this event. Uh, I, I don't know which attribute or which color will go the farthest because right now I've seen red as actually looks like the strongest even though blue I thought would be the strongest on paper. So we're going to have to just see how this plays out. I know this that we do have some very unique replays in, in, this, in this video so, so stick, stick around to the end. Um, I, I think the very last replay is something that someone on the server went and hunted for and found it. So, got lucky there. There was me failing against the Immortal team. Failing against the Immortal team. It doesn't happen very often, right? Okay, coming up next we have Splash from Server 323. One of our top players in the server. He uses Red Woody, which I wanted to show everyone. Red Woody, he might be the number one. I thought it was going to be blue. It might be red. He has Life Essence. It's his big attack. Basically, what he's doing is he's taking 15% health from every single person on the team. And then he transfers all of that health into damage. And he damages one partner all of that damage. And if he happens to kill that partner with that attack, then all of his teammates get all of the health back that they used for the attack. Really big, big play. A uh, huge attack. He's got the Sylvan's Rage, which is a defensive attack based on Woody's defensive score. It also ignores the enemy's defense. I believe all three colors have some kind of benefit of the, on the defense. So this is going to be one of those uh, bull. Maybe all six bull you use. Maybe you use Sia si Bull. Leave comments down in the comment section if you have a really successful war pattern. So I can check it out and, and update everyone if you don't mind. His, the very first skill on all three attributes of, of Woody, it's called Entangled Vines. It kind of reminds me of the vine attack that you'll see with uh, the Tree Man. This is not an attack all though, it's an attack one player. So it attacks one person. Pretty strong attack. All of his, all of Woody's attacks are, are, are stout. Uh, I've seen Life Essence, it's, it's averaging 16 to 20,000 in damage. I've seen the, the first Entangled Vines, it's about eight or 10,000 on that attack. And then his second one, which is the Rage, uh, I believe that one's around 12,000, so, or, or five, something like that. <coughs> so all, 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 of his, all of Red's attacks are, are all pretty strong, and it's, it's, a, it's, an, it's an unusual way of going about the attack because he's taking health from his own team. I think, I think Blue does even more. I think Blue is actually taking and swapping the hit point percentage and... Uh, of one attack and swapping the the, the action bar on another attack. And here's Red Woody right now attacking Green Tusk. One shot kill. 
We've seen a lot of that, especially in the very first round. If he in, if he gets the uh, if he gets the life essence off in the very first round, where everyone still has full health. I mean, he's taking fifteen percent from everyone on his team, so that's a lot of health that he's taking from the team. A lot of damage he's going to do to the other side. I think that's where we're going to see the biggest strikes from from Red Woody is that that first that first hit that he does. I would love to tell you how to load him up to, uh, with critical rate or critical rate damage to, to improve on that. I'm just not sure. Finishes it off with the Sylvan's Rage for the win. Here's Tyler Durden. Seen him a lot on the channel lately. He's got Green Woody. That is not something you hear every day. So first skill on Green is the same as the other two. Uh, as red and blue, it, it is the Entangled Vines. This is a defense-based attack that can also stun the enemy. It's a one-person per attack with green as well. Second skill, we start to improve dramatically uh, after the Entangled Vine. The second skill for Green Woody is Nature's Will. And Nature's Will is going to... Another big action bar swap. He's going to swap the enemy with the highest action bar with a home team player home team player <laughs> with a teammate's lowest action bar so basically he's going to swap out the fastest for the slowest and give his teammate the next the next turn so the, we're we're altering the order of attacks a lot a lot is going to have to be considered with that ex exactly how it's going to work out and exactly how he's going to benefit the team because I, I don't i don't know quite yet i'm sure tyler's going to be working on that and figure out a good way to use him i'm, I'm thinking that with green nomad it's going to it's going to be the best benefit and you see green nomad in there with him so we'll, we'll see how that works out and finally green's big skill third attack it's called inertia aura i've said it wrong like seven times already have to delete that inertia aura and what this does is this slows every single person in the playing field down his team uh, enemy team 50% on the action bar so they're going to recover the action bar 50% less and if any of the enemies are in an active skill then he will actually get time added to his action bar so looks like green woody is going to have a lot of benefit from the action bar swap out and from the actual inertia aurora i see i see the aurora uh, aurora <laughs> the inertia aura i see that pop up a lot so if you look if you're watching uh, the skills every single time that there's any action taken you'll see that green woody has the inertia aura pop up over his head so it's one of those skills that, that in in play all the time not a hundred percent sure how it plays out again i'm kind of just watching as we go these are kind of new for me too because i'm not the guy that has actually actually has woody awkward pause <laughs> i've seen a lot of really strong attacks with woody in it though i think he's a, a huge improvement on most of these teams especially when you're dealing with red now i haven't got to see a lot of blue yet and i out and when we first caught it i thought blue was going to be the number one I haven't got a lot of uh, views of it of it yet so after talking to several players in several different servers i got the impression that i was not the only one that picked red woody to be the partner that could beat green tricky red can beat green splash center replay within 24 hours thank you splash he has really been on point as far as helping me out with his replays now the one thing that we knew was going to be Tricky's weakness is that one hit that could take him out in one shot. That's exactly what Red, uh, what Red Woody offers. He's going to use his, his main skill where he takes 15% from everyone on the team and then he's going to attack. And do an enormous amount of damage at one time. Now Tricky could dodge it I believe. So we'll have to see how it plays out. And it looks like we doesn't have a very fast speed, but there it is. One shot, Tricky goes down. So this immediately makes me think, okay, if Red Woody can take care of Tricky that easily, there's not a lot of people that have Red Woody yet. Um, there's very few people that have Woody, period. It, was, it, it comes at a very specialized event, and not a lot of people get him. Not a lot of people have Tricky either. But you also have to think, okay, now what's going to be able to stop Woody? And if you have Tricky and you want to try to utilize him and you know that Woody is going to dump this giant attack on top of Tricky's lap, you're going to have to try to put a partner in that's going to stun Woody before he gets to it. 
uh, I, I think he actually tried that with uh, with the, the Green Nomad, who probably had Saya on him, which is the stun. Didn't quite, I don't, uh, didn't didn't work out. He still got his, his big attack off. And now they're gonna talk some smack back and forth, like all big players do. Hopefully, I'll never be in trouble for just a little creative creativity with other people's characters. You know, this is none, none of these characters are mine. I don't own any of this stuff. I'm just making it up as I go along. Once again, I'd like to thank Splash and Tyler for the replays. You know, they have to actually compromise quite a bit to give up their teams for everyone to learn a little bit from them. It weakens their position in, in the actual matches. So, really want to thank those guys. They they really give and give a lot. Well, uh, I don't, don't really deserve it, I guess. <laughs> so, something to look forward to. As as the game progresses forward, this is another partner that you really want to get your hands on. I don't know if either one of these guys, either Tricky or, or Woody, will end up being like the the Prince, which is such a uh, an instrumental partner in so many different combinations. But as a, as it is right now, these are incredibly strong partners. They haven't nerfed them yet, so th th right now there's a great time to get them. I don't know when the next event is that that we can get them. You wouldn't believe how much money some of these guys spent to get these partners. I was in some of the uh, some of the chat rooms, and man, I thought I was I thought I felt bad about my three hundred dollars shot at the, at the Desert Prince, but apparently they put that to shame. <laughs> so, in case you didn't know, you guys can hit me up online. It's A T L E Z E, A T L E Z E's line. So, if you want to send me any of your replays, if you want something, if I have if I've missed something and you really want me to cover it. Just hit me up online. You can hit me up on Facebook, Easy Street Gaming. I appreciate everyone for watching. Long video, 12 minutes. How many people made it through 12 minutes? If you play Brutal Age and you have not subscribed to Easy Street Gaming, then what are you thinking? You can even listen to homemade music at the end. <laughs> so, appreciate everyone for watching. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.